M. This video will take a detailed look at a 1970s Evans modernized in the early 2000s by Shit Generic and very sadly it's recently been refurbished again. Very disappointing. The building at its lift is in is really really grotty and these lifts used to look quite grotty and really match a building but aside they've recently refurbished and they haven't done that much but they've brightened them up and they've added metal panelling inside making this sort of look a bit shiny and a bit boring really really disappointing it just doesn't match the grottiness of this building anymore but anyway mechanically these lifts haven't changed since the early 2000s more. so then these are some really nice 1970s Evans and were originally single speed these lifts are really slow they go just one third of a metre a second which is slow even for a single speed lift because usually most of every single speed lifts used to go three quarters of a metre a second which is pretty much as fast as you can go with single speed but for some reason this place since it's such a cheap grotty place even tuned out on their lifts and these lifts are really slow especially for a number of floors they serve but what's really odd is that the service lifting actually has the Evans two stage motor which levels and is a far superior lift which is quite odd it's like the other way around to most places where the passenger lifts are usually the fast ones and level and the service ones at single speed but no it's the other way around in this building so then in the early 2000s these lifts were modernised by the really crap company DNA lifts and now they variable variables and mods and now they speed up and slow down in a boring way but not as boring as some of the more modern variable fits and mods which really make the lifts really dull they still have quite a bit of character so then let's take a look on top of these lifts and sadly a bit clean on top of these lifts it wasn't as grotty as I would have liked all of the handrails and various bits have all been painted colour coded like health and safety and how it should be which is disappointing I thought these would be epic and grotty anyway these lifts have 2 to 1 cabling and another interesting thing is that this weird self oiling where the lift runs along the tracks so then let's now make this lift move and the slow speed as it runs in on manual mode is the same speed as the full speed since generally speaking we've been able to some mods they run the lift at one third of a meter a second in manual mode and that's the speed of the lift so then first let's try this lift in manual mode Let's take a ride on top of this lift in automatic mode. I'll stop it there as we're now coming down to the next floor and I don't really want anyone to see me through the little window in the lift doors and although the top floor is completely deserted in this building the other floors do have people on and I was a bit too much of a chicken to ride lift the entire way If we take a look at a lift shaft, look at what is on the ceiling. A trap door into the motor room. But very annoyingly, I didn't manage to get up there. Because on top of the lift when you start driving upwards, it refuses to go all the way to the top in manual mode. So, and I could not reach a trap. So one is for a lift to be on automatic mode. I've summoned in the lift, take it way up to the top floor so I could then reach. But even then, I don't think I quite managed to get through the trap door up. So what I need is a ladder. That is going to be rather dodgy. Oh, I just so much want to get into this motor room. I'll be back. 